my thing at the high school level with your curriculum as well is I took those classes that they basically, you know, I don't know, whatever, bottom feeders, and I've made them my own. So I was telling Cindy this, something I'm really proud of is the more I look at it. Uh, shape Up, the first Shape Up class I had had 11 girls in it, 11 sophomore and junior girls, um, which for a class is kind of hard to do. Um, and so I had to kind of figure out how I was going to do things my way, because I wasn't obviously someone who did Zumba, I didn't know yoga, I didn't really understand step aerobics, I didn't all this stuff. And our, our district in Elmbrook is big on personalized learning, and that's sort of taken shape a little bit too. So a couple things I've done with Shape Up is I've included a ton of field trip experiences. So we're lucky enough to have someone who um, is doing Breathe for Change, which is a Madison-based company. They do yoga. So I have the health teacher and I, while I'm not certified, it's okay. We switch off. She actually teaches my class three times. I've actually brought in personal yoga instructors. Um, and they, I charge as a field trip when they come to our, us. Um, I brought in Zumba instructors. So someone that does that full time, they usually have a flexible schedule because so their moms are doing it throughout the day. Um, I go to the bar code, which is a bar, a bar class studio. Uh, the woman there is actually doing it to us for free as long as we can get there. Um, I do hot yoga, which is actually happening tomorrow. Um, they were done hot yoga before. First time I went, I didn't know it was 90 minutes. I thought it was 60, and I thought it was a lot less hot than it really was. I almost passed out myself. Um, and what else do we do in this term? I bring in a self-defense instructor. And as sad as it is, at the level I was, I was one of those big into social media and you always see the sexual assault all this stuff. So I went to my principal and said, hey, do you think that would be okay if I did this? And so I bring in someone to teach the girls self-defense. And I say, it's, it's awkward, it's uncomfortable, but it's a reality now. So, um, and, it's, and, and those are things that, again, I wasn't as passionate about, I didn't understand as well. And so rather than throwing on a DVD or... Maybe even trudging through a ton of stuff and trying to learn it, and that wasn't the best use of my time. I figured out a way to use outside resources. And I think the hard part sometimes is the money situation, and you get lucky sometimes, you don't get lucky other times in terms of what kids will have to pay for. Um, but I think you know, you're better off fighting for that than not fighting for it. And I really enjoy that that's taken, and kids like to take my class. And I don't want to really teach another class, honestly. So we now, I, that's, I teach Shape Up in the winter. I teach outdoor pursuits in the spring and fall. And I don't want to give those up because I've made it over the last six years where I feel really good about the content. I've actually the shape up. We just redid our curriculum. And I'm going to make it so kids can take it every year because there really is that group of girls that have had bad experiences in elementary school no, and middle school. Through no fault of our own. It's just sometimes the way kids are. And uh, they want to be in there. And so I have a lot of my first paper I write is, tell me, do you like your shape? And that's for them and me. I've heard everything from yes, I've you know I've, I feel great about myself. I do this, this, and this. To I've been to Rogers Hospital. I've tried to commit suicide. I have an eating disorder. I have this. Um, and so it's really you know humbling to think that they trust me that much, but I also get a chance to connect with them on a sort of a deeper level. And then the one so I have a shape of two now that will sort of blend together was you know what's the <coughs> hardest part about being a teenage girl and. I've had some really, you know, and it's kind of morphed into um, a totally different, like I think some of the things I've had, like I like to present, it's like very personal, and so we're actually one of the girls to present or talk, and I have a really good poem I could even share that one of the girls wrote, and I also have a guy in that class who identifies as transsexual, I believe, and, uh, no, queer, sorry, so he wrote about the hard part about that, but he relates to that class because it's a group for girls, and he doesn't need to do sports, and it's really neat to see, so... The other class I have is Outdoor Pursuits, and I took the class with Tim in the summer, right, and I still I'll always, I'll never forget that class. Um, still pissed that I couldn't roll over the kayak in the pool. Um, I never, my forearms cramping up, I lifted after with the rock climbing, like I like peeled my arm like, off because so I forearms were so shot. Um, but I really, I didn't, I really wasn't, I'm not an outdoor person. I'm not, I don't. Honestly, enjoy outdoors all that much. Because <laughs> we had an air conditioned room, I'll be way better off than out, out doing whatever. But they threw it in my lap, and so I said, okay, well, how is this going to work? And so, again, it's a field, it was a field trip, field trip based class anyway, but I kind of had to modify it. So we have a climbing gym, Adventure Rock in Milwaukee area. And it started out, we used to go one time for three hours. Well, you know from climbing in one time, you go for 45 minutes, you're shot, it's just done, it's over. So we have block scheduling, which is really nice. So what I've worked out <coughs> is they come to Brookfield Central for two sessions to teach. 
figure eight knots, belay, rock climbing techniques. They have awesome PowerPoint videos. It's phenomenal. And then we go there four separate times during the class session. So we get on the bus, we go there, adventure out, climb for 45 minutes, get back on the bus, go to the next class. And so uh, the cost to the students is $35, but to go clip in one time is 20 and they get four <coughs> sessions. And that's including instruction. Um, we do archery. I found a woman named Sherry Mertz in the Milwaukee area. She does kayaking. She's like, well, I can come to your school. I was like, this ki-. She's like, we do kayaking in the pool. So I've done do kayaking in the pool, and she comes to an outdoor adventure class at Foxbrook Park, which is right nearby. Uh, one of the people on staff is a fisherman. I really am awful fisherman. My kids catch stuff on the kiddie pole better than I catch the regular stuff. And so she, she so I have a fisherman on staff who's a, uh, like a whatever, sponsored guy, he comes out, teaches the kids how to fish, and I hang out all day, it's really fun. Um, and then, what else do we do? Archery, I invested in archery stuff, I know a lot of you do that, and it's been really great to do. Um, scuba diving, I met someone at an air show who was doing scuba diving, I don't know why, but he was, so he had this big pool set up, and I'm like, what do you, how does this work? He said, oh, it's $65, I'm like, what about more people? He's like, well, how many more? I was like, what about 80? He's like, oh, 20 bucks a kid. Perfect. So one day a week, we go one time during the term, they come in, and we do scuba diving. So get the tank, get the gear. I'm like, hey, it's the bottom of the pool. I'm like, ooh. I'm like, yeah, but you've never done this before. And so I just say it's an experience, so you get to go on. Um,